Hello, everybody. You see my co my little co-pilot there, Hercules. Okay, he might climb over the seat. He might. You'll see what he does. I had I had this thing and it strapped. I didn't like it because he get all tangled up in it. So I gotta get something else. I'm gonna try to find a car seat for him. Um, kind of like you know. My family tell me more and more, you treat him like he's a baby. He is a baby. He's my baby. And I love him. You know? Don't, don't, you know, I tell people, don't hate. Don't hate. Yeah, don't hate. I found something that makes me happy. It's been a long time since I really felt this kind of happiness about him. See my neighbors, they do his lawns and Man, the whole world has to stop when they decide they're gonna take their shit out. And, well, look, I ain't, I ain't trying. I ain't trying it. Okay. So anyway, uh, life goes on. Pam, come back. Come back to me. Come back. Come back to me. Moment. Yeah. And uh, you know. Uh, but it, you know, it was a set. But I, I did find something, and my Hercules makes me very, very happy. He and I, we have our moments, you know, like, um, I give him freedoms and then I take him back because he's not acting the way I think he should be acting. Like, he does get to run the house, all except when I'm not, I don't particularly like him in my room. I don't like I don't like him to get the cats in my room because he's very territorial about that. So I do kind of block it off when I'm not home, and you know I don't let him loose when I'm not home either. I don't. I, I he stays in my room. He has toys. He has everything he needs in there: water, you no know, food, and it's just a protected area. It's bigger than a crate. <laughs> it's much bigger than a crate, and uh, he's uh, oh wait. Um, he's, you know, he, he's usually sleeping, I believe. Do I, I mean, he's probably doing that how, oh, but, but <laughs> I love that. I, 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 you know, there's so much about him that I, that I like. The few little things that are kind of like, Arr. you know, the incessant barking can be a little bit, but I, now I use a little spray bottle and it's just a spray. It's like, like you, like, like, not even hard, you know. It's a spray bottle you get it at uh, Dollar Tree, the dollar store, and I put a little water in it when he acts a little nuts, and I need to break up something, or he's going a little bit 900 degrees at the cats. You spray it, it brings them back to reality. Now they do have. Uh, uh, a collar that does sort of like that, but it has like a centronella smell, and it kind of like, what's that, you know, I haven't bought it, I have thought about it, not sure about it, then they have a, like a little, like a, like a little jitter one, thought about that too, I, he was supposed to go see this behaviorist, and her and I had this long talk on the phone, and she side and she said this is really too far for you to go and she says you know it's almost an hour almost two hours to get there and she said you have to come at least five times in a row and you know it won't work if you don't and she doesn't go for any sort of extra but she does go with a little medication and ah that's where I, I kind of draw the line I don't want to medicate it I don't want to medicate anyway but I have medicated animals for the last with for the last four years. Medications, medications, medications. I ain't feeling medications. I'm not. I'm really just not. I, I you know, I, dogs have had his behavior issues before and have gotten over it and became nice dogs. It's just time. He's only been with me. This might be two months today. Might be two months I've had him, and you know he does have a little bit of concerns, but most of his behavior is pretty good. Uh, he sleeps excellent. You know he really does. He 
he doesn't get up at night he you know when you put him in bed no you can't get up here when you put him in bed like he sleeps with me you put him under the cover his cover i put him under his covers that's where he wants to be he'll curl under there and he'll get a little ball and he goes to sleep if you get him to go to the bathroom nine times out of ten if he's been asleep 20 minutes or longer he ain't even gonna wake up and he sleeps later than any dog I've ever had. He'll sleep to eight or nine o'clock if you if you let him. But I, you know, I don't usually sleep to eight or nine o'clock. Um, he he eats pretty good. I, I'm kind of getting concerned about one thing. I think he might have a food allergy, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm changing him over from one food to another. And because he was on a puppy formula before, and he's not a puppy, so I'm changing him over to that. And I, I maybe it'll be better. I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise, he eats pretty good. I mean, he does. I don't feed him a lot of food because he doesn't need a lot of food. You know, he doesn't need bowls full, a full bowl of food. He doesn't need. He doesn't get a full bowl. He gets. A third, two thirds of food a day of, of dry food and he don't even eat all that and he gets a third of the old food well now he's getting a third of the old food and a third of the new food and um, didn't even eat the whole thing uh, and he gets the Stella and Chewy they've changed him all over to complete Stella and Chewy and so he gets a little cup for it's called for small dogs and it's a chicken it's pure chicken it's just chicken in a broth i could do that myself but they're like my doctor said there's vitamins that dogs need and don't try to do it on your own unless you have talked to a nutritionist because you'll never get it right and he'll be the deficit he'll have deficits you know and somebody his size you know because i talked to my vet i really do I am doing things 100% different with him. I, you know, I, I wish he enjoyed going in the car a little bit more than he does because, you know, it's kind of like, you know, after a while, if I was driving and I, you know, with you all and I, you know, maybe I decide I want to go down to Tennessee, you know, it's, that's like eight hour drive, okay? And I had him about maybe half hour to 45 minutes into the ride, he starts his Oh, oh. and then you know it's just a constant you know he doesn't like it that long but he, I can get him to go from here to Petco here to Pet Smart. I can get him to go with me to the grocery store no I can't because I don't go to the grocery store what am I talking about um, I can get him to go with me to what's it called? Uh, Lowe's he can go in there anywhere he can go in I allow him to go because he needs to be socialized. If I can just get you to see his face. Um, he needs to be socialized of some sort. And, you know, I wish right now there is this puppy place where you could take it like uh, Sarah Jane does, her dog. But I don't think he's social enough yet. You know, he needs a little bit more time. When he's about six months, I'm thinking he might calm down some because he's still in that beginning new pet phase trusting phase he trusts me i think now i'll tell you something with when and if i ever like pick him up okay say for instance i pick him up okay i say we're gonna go outside he'll hide from me i have to go get him he'll go in his box he's great i call it the box because it looks like a box and he'll go in there he'll sit in there and sit, lay down but, or sometimes he'll even try to nip at me because, you know, I don't know if he don't want to go out or he, just, he gets afraid to leave the house. And, you know, I think he's afraid he's going to leave. Well, you're never going to leave. You know, the only time, you know, I won't see you is when I'm gone, you know, because I probably will go look for him. And, you know, I, no, no, you're, I'm never going to leave you, you know, I never. You know, but I would like for him to feel comfortable where he could be around other dogs, maybe. Not to be like, I don't want him to be friendly, friendly, you know what I mean? I want him just to not be afraid 
of everybody that somebody's going to do something to him. Again, I don't know his true history. I know it as a foster. I know his original owner died, but that's all I know. And they never really told me much. They never, they said, you know, he was going to be adopted. And he just didn't fit in. And I know what they meant. I, now I know for sure. You know, he still potties in the house. And you, it's, he's, he's on a training schedule. You know, I take him out every two hours. And, you know, and uh, bring him back in, praise him when he does his business. And he's about 60% perfect. That 40% shows up sometimes. And there's no time for failure on my part. Like, there's no time like, oh, I don't feel good. You know, well, you know, tough stuff. You're going to feel good because you got to take them out. It's true. So, yeah. The reason I didn't put you guys up in the window is not because I'm trying to hide anything, nothing like that. It's just because it overheats my phone, overheats, and it's not that hot, but the sun is kind of warm. I don't feel like making a video, and that, you know, um, you will see it. So you get to look at his face, and my dirty chair. It's okay. It's okay. I had plans, food, everything up in his car sometimes. Um, I've been working on my garden a little bit. Not perfect, of course, but nothing with me is 100% perfect. But I'm working on it. I have uh, some plant flowers out front, some hanging flowers in the back. I'm going to replant some stuff. I'm kind of like filling that, you know? Really, my head is really in a good space. It really is. For the first time in years. I mean, yeah, I get my little mm, spots, you know, like feel sorry for boo hoo 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 places in my life. But for the most part, things pretty freaking good, you know. I mean, I do, you know, wish I had more companionship. But. If I don't, I'm okay, you know? I got my dog. I do still miss Ginger like crazy. I always call her Gilly's Ginger. I don't know why, but I do. But that will come with time, I'm sure, you know? Um, it's just, you know, I kind of feel bad, feeling good, you know, sometimes. But I don't think Ginger would want me to feel bad all the time. I, I, I said to my daughter, I said, you know, I don't love Ginger. I don't love Hercules the same way I love Ginger. Ginger was like the queen of everything. You know, like she was the mama. I, I used to call her mama. And um, Hercules is like a baby. Hercules is like a little kid who needs somebody. But in the end, I think I probably needed him as much as he needed me. You know, everything about him I love us now. See, I tell you, listen, listen, you hear that? And nope, nope, we're not stopping. We, we're, we're, we're at the stop sign. Yep, we're at the stoplight. No, sit down, sit down. Not too bad, healthy. You know, he, he's getting tired. He, he, as long as the car is moving, he's fine. But as soon as it starts, you know, I mean, yeah, as soon as it stops, he thinks we're there. No. We'll be there in about two minutes, two or three minutes. Yeah. June is right around the corner. Man. Can't believe it. And our weather isn't especially warm. It's 59 degrees. I mean, it's not especially warm. This is more like... You know I love spring, uh, fall. You know I love fall. This is more like weather of uh, October, the end of September, October, you know, on a cool day. It's just perfect. To me, this is like the most perfect weather ever. And I love it. And I have the perfect little boy here to love it with. I mean, I'm looking forward to so much. I'm looking forward to Halloween to be able to buy him a little costume and you know, um, take him somewhere to get a picture taken. Maybe by then he'll come. Is it last? You know, 
um, you know, buy him Halloween stuff, and, you know. That was the difference between Ginger and him. Ginger would put up with not a bang of that. Nope. But see, I didn't start off like that either. The way you start off is the way you end up. I didn't start Ginger off with toys. And, I mean, I gave her toys, but she never really liked them. She'd play with them for a minute and eh, you know, wasn't into it. Hercules is all about the toys, you know. Except doesn't like the big toys. Like little tiny toys. Little tiny. He likes cat toys. Because he's so little. He, he's really small, you know. And he hasn't gotten much bigger. I think he might have gained like four ounces, you know. It's nothing, you know. And I don't overload him with treats or anything. I'm trying to keep him at a nice little low weight. But anyways, I'm here where I'm supposed to be. And I will talk to you guys later. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.